So this afternoon we've got Alison from SAS with us and we've got a really exciting tab to talk about um, today. Um, SAS is available to use in part on eBay. So um, Alison will talk to you about a lot more, but it's not just exclusively to Amazon. It just gives you more choices about whether you want to use eBay and if po possibly selling an item is profitable on both of the, of the platforms. Really exciting and that's completely unique, I think, if I'm, if I'm right with that, completely unique. Um, and yeah, that's true. Yes. And I'm going to show you the um, Seller Central, my favourite button in the whole of SAS. So I will pass over to Alison and okay. say hiya. Hello, hello everybody. So as many of you have learned, um, SAS uh, stands for Sourcing Analysis Simplified. It is three tools in one um, subscription that enable you to use either mobile app for when you're doing RA or, you know, on the go. Um, use the Chrome extension as we're looking at on the screen right now, which will just pop up the, uh, will, will process the product and give you all the information you need when you're on Chrome. Um, and that works on Amazon or any other website. And um, there's also a desktop version as well. So desktop version does everything that the other two does. Your history is all combined together. Everything is in your account. It's just three separate tools. So. And it's all um, at the same price, all for one All price. the same price. Bang, perfect. So, um, yeah, so one of the things um, SAS is designed to make, um, make it really easy to make a decision on when you're sourcing. So whether it be um, how much profit you want to make, whether it be if the product is you're eligible to sell the product, for example. Um, one of the things that Al, the creator of SAS, thought would make sense is to have a quick link over to eBay. So you can quickly validate if the product's on eBay give yourself the chance to look as, as you said, Emily, if that's eBay's something. having a little bit of resurgence. So about a year ago, yeah. it was about 90%, if you did both, 90% of your revenue would come from Amazon, 10% from eBay. But apparently now, so slowly, but it's, it is starting to shift. eBay is definitely picking up and it's, yeah. it's kind of growing, isn't it? I don't know, I don't, it's custom. It is, yeah, well. the, this whole convergence of obviously FBA over the last 14 years and then um, FBM. Yep. Um, is really, you know, people are looking for more places to sell, aren't they? Which makes sense. There's more sellers out there. On eBay. EBay, eBay, eBay have got more customers now, I think, too. So, yeah. so yes, it's definitely worth having a look. Who'd have thought? So how do, Everybody how do... thinks they're competitors, but in reality, they're, you know, they're kind of helping each other out, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, sure, so. sure. So, yeah, so we're going to take a look at um, the eBay panel, and then, like you said, the Seller Central panel in a second. So let me talk to you about the eBay panel. So first and foremost, the eBay panel, you don't want to use it when you're searching on Amazon. Um, and basically it's going to search for an ASIN and the Amazon ASIN obviously difficult. It is not on eBay. So where it is best utilized is when you're on another e-commerce site. So we're going to use Argos as our example today. Any e-commerce site. That is any e-commerce site. And I know this, this, you love the click, don't you, Emily? You love, I love, you love sassing when you're on another site. So for those of you that might not know how it works when you're on, uh, another e-commerce site, um, let's say for example that, well, I don't know. And, Argos decides to not give us anything on the page that I'm looking at. Hold on, let's refresh that page. Come on, Argos, there we go. They don't like these sellers, do they? Exactly, like, we know who you are. <laughs> so let's say we want to check out this Tommy Tipper Super Steam Advanced Electric Sterilizer set. Try to say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Woo. Um, so what you can do when you're on another site is highlight um, the I, I like to use the title. You can use parts of the description as well, but title is gonna be your most surefire bet. Mm -hmm. And then right click, and as long as you have the Chrome extension installed, you'll be able, you'll be able to um, essentially process this product through SAS. So we'll go ahead In and about three point that. seconds, it's so quick. Um, Just like that, it's gonna come up with everything that has that bit in the description, that bit that you highlighted. So, um, so these are all the listings that it found on Amazon, and we are looking at the Tommy Tipper Super Steam Electric Steam Sterilizer set. So we're going to click on that product there. And lo and behold, this is bringing up all the Amazon information on this particular product. So let's say... You don't say, leave the website. You don't even have to like yeah. your eyes or muck about with anything. It just goes. No, yeah, you can go back and forth, go back to Argus, continue your search there if you want to. But say you're kind of looking at it, you're looking at your own profitability on Amazon, you're looking at what other sellers are, what other offers are out there. It's like, mm, maybe this isn't what, you know, they're selling them for 57 there, but they're selling them on Argus for 34. Like, can I take my price down a little bit? Or what are they doing on eBay? Let's go ahead and look. So search eBay button and the eBay panel will take you to 
that search executed on eBay. So searching for the same term that we searched for on Argus that, that SAS then used on Amazon and taking you over to eBay to show you what is available. So obviously we're gonna have used, um, but as we scroll down here, we're gonna find a new Tommy Tippy at 55 pounds, um, even 69.99. Um, so it looks like there's potentially some money to be made on by listing them as new on eBay. And obviously once you get to eBay, you can, you can um, change your filters if you want to, if you want to just look at news. So how, what would you use? What would you use that for? See, for me, I'd, pr I'd probably try and get in the habit. I, mean, I don't sell on eBay. Maybe I think I need to. Um, but if, but if I would get in the habit of running an Amazon an Amazon um, an analysis on SaaS, and then I'd just open the eBay panel just to have a look because you might oh, yeah. be able to sell on both. Yeah, exactly. You may find if we pop back to the um, to the SaaS uh, the Chrome extension here you may find that there's loads of sellers. There might be eight sellers for a product and you're saying, you know what? It's gonna take another 20, to, 20 pounds of price increase before I'll even get to me if I decide to list after those guys. So maybe it's a matter of saying, I want the product, but Amazon isn't the right place to be selling it. You can also um, list it on um, Amazon, eBay, can't you? You can get Amazon to fulfill it. That's yes, absolutely, absolutely. I, I, you know, still, um, save yourself the hassle of keeping it in stock, still ship it into Amazon, but you're just going to divert it and put the listing onto eBay. So, so yeah. it doesn't give you any analysis in the way it does with um, Correct. Amazon. It, Correct. It just kind of gives you what, just an idea of what's possible for you then to a bit deeper. Exactly. Exactly. So if you're, if you're a master of your Amazon fees, like we said, you can ship it into Amazon, they can fulfill it for you. So you're still going to have to pay some of your fees to, the, to Amazon for that. Um, so you can kind of do some back of the back of the fag packet math and figure out mm, is this going to be worth it. So um, it at least gives you an indication of ah, if it's going to be worth another. Your time. Sorry, ping another use. If I if definitely I would do this. If my SAS said to me it was hazmat, or if I was ineligible and the auto ungate didn't work. Bingo. Perfect. And I've some and I've and Amazon decide to suddenly gate you on stuff that was fine yesterday and stuff's hazmat today that wasn't yesterday. So if you brought something home and you have to get rid of it, then this could be a perfect way to work. Great place to look at it. Yep, exactly. Great place to look wow. and see if it's, see if it's even a possibility. So, um, you know, if you've got, if you've got your VAs doing searches for you and things, maybe add it in, have them jot down what the price range is on eBay, something like that, you know, give you kind of an idea if that's, if that's a reasonable place to, uh, to be selling. So, um, similar to the search, um, you've also got sold on eBay, so we can, uh, access the eBay history and see how many of these have been sold and when they were sold. Yeah, it's all well and good for being up for 100 quid, but that doesn't mean it's sold for 100 <laughs> It's sold two years ago, yeah, right? Not gonna do much good. So um, let's see, again, searching on the terms that we searched on, um, looks like they've been selling them, yes, fairly recently. Um, so not gonna be a problem. Good grief, selling for 75.50, oof, nice. Um, so I think, yeah, this, this to me looks like a legitimate product that I would want to list on eBay. So. It's just a brilliant way to get some more data and to make some more choices, really. It, it's, just, it's just allowing you to, to, to maximize. If, you, if you're analyzing something, you may as well do it properly and, and, and go as far and wide as you can with it. Yeah, you're doing, yeah. Literally yep, took a few minutes. Awesome. So we, okay. are we can do a screen switch. We're going to switch. Please bear with us, everybody, while we... Hold on a second. I give up the share, I hand it back to Emily. Boom, yeah. boom, just like that. Yeah, we're getting slick. Right, yeah. so uh, so Alison has um, gone through the uh, eBay feature. Um, I, as you can see, I don't sell on eBay, so this is a perfect example to show how you can move your uh, panel around. So I don't I don't sell on eBay, so I don't have the panel where Alison had it because I just don't use it. I think- yeah. we, To I do think that, I was gonna say, to do that, everybody, just go into your settings. You can go ahead and, and move the panels around and um, then click save and it'll put them in whatever. There you go, it's off. I don't sell on it. So, so for me, for my purposes, I don't even want to see it because Perfect. it's a distraction. But I think now I will definitely, I will definitely have a look. Um, so we were looking for a, the Tommy Tippy. Let's find it in my history. So um, Amazon, SAS has got three buttons. And the first button is one of my favorite buttons on, on, on the software. It saves me an absolute... <laughs> Goodness knows how much time. Um, this product, add product. So if you found something and if you're in a shop and you want to list it very quickly, or uh, you, you know you just want to get it done without without having to go through the whole process, you make sure you've got the right item. 
and then you scroll down and you just simply put add press add product and it takes you straight to the seller central point so um, it's bypass checking which ASIN it is, it's bypass checking if there's multiple listings, you literally enter your SKU, you enter your condition, you enter your price, you decide how to um, fulfill it, save and finish, oh. bosh. And I use this button always, every time. I don't ever do it. So anymore. handy. Yeah. And, and I just think, uh, you know, so a lot of people know that Al had a gal that was working for him doing, doing RA, going out to all the shops and everything. And think back to the days of she would have to come back and line everything up so we could go through and manually add things in so that's exactly where this came out of it's just that convenient she would have been able to be sitting in the car park just going boop, boop, it's add so it quick you can literally be in a shop scan it add it and go and merchant fulfill it and you can probably if you're very lucky have it sold merchant fulfilled before you even get home <laughs> yeah, exactly right well that's the ultimate you know that's the ultimate right? Um, just, just be careful when you're doing this. I mean, I haven't searched the item. I, I took it from the one we use as Alison's example. Just be careful if there's multiple listings. Just double check you're doing it on the right one. So take a note of your exactly. payment or your price. Exactly. It will only it will only it would go and it will go and add this product. Not so if you've got three listings, it will add this one. So just make sure you're in you're in the right one. The one that you want. Yeah, great, <clears throat> great point, Emily. And. Um, Another is, is search on the entire title. I didn't in our example, shame on me, but yeah, search on the entire title. Yeah. Um, seriously. Uh, yeah. Yes, perfect. Um, so the other button, which I find quite handy, is um, add inventory. So if I just use my history, which is unique to SAS, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is an item that is in my inventory. So if I want to just see what's, if I've scanned it, I, I just want to see how many I've got. If I'm out, out shopping and I don't know if I need to get some more of something or if I'm running low or a particular color or something I need to, I need to replenish, you simply find it with the SAS. You hit your refresh <laughs> button, which you should always do just to double check everything. And then it's you press solid. inventory and it takes you, I've got, I don't think you're going to have to move you guys out of the way. I'm sorry for that. Um, it takes you okay. to uh, the inventory. And you literally are one click away from the item on Amazon. From the actual listing itself. So it will tell you, I've got none of these in stock. So if I was out and about and scanned it, check the, no, if I know it's a product I, I've stocked recently in stock um, currently, I can just tell straight away if I need to um, pick up any more. Also very quickly, you can see all of this information. So if, the low, so if I was selling this at like nine pounds and I noticed the low price was three for 48, I might walk past it and not replenish it because yeah. actually the current offer isn't, isn't, isn't where I want it to be. That's, so that's quite a yeah. useful handy one. Yep. The last button, back to my, back to my history. The last button, um, I don't use this one as much as I should really, um, but it's, 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 it's there if anyone wants to, to make the most of it. Orders. So if you've, so if you, particularly this time of year, um, advent calendars, for example, it's only something we, we source and send in this time of year. So if you come across an advent calendar you think you might have sold last year, but you can't remember, did, did it flop, did it do really well? You click on your orders button. Actually, you should scan it first. Um, you should, you should always do your scan first and press your refresh mm -hmm. button 37 minutes ago. <laughs> so you then hit your orders button and it takes you directly and it will say, I don't stock this item anymore, but it will tell you the last time you sold it and it will tell you how much you sold this item for. So um, you, you can check it against your current price and it will give you a rough idea of whether something has moved gonna, like, for the next season, next Christmas um, or whether it's stayed quite stable. It's quite a nice little handy guide. Yeah. And um, this is where um, SAS and SDK talk beautifully together. So um, it's not competitive software at all. They, they, they match up beautifully. And SAS is your tool for your analysis before you purchase the product. As soon as you've bought it, STK takes the button and carries on for you. So um, if you've ever stocked anything uh, in, in your Amazon account, you're, you've got a little tab here called Seller Toolkit, and it tells you what's go, what has gone on with the ASIN. So I don't have any of this. I'm not selling this this year, but I have sold 10 of them. The first sale was in October 2019, and the last sale was in November 2019. So it's, and the last price is there. So it's just kind of reminding me that I bought this last time. So if you're not, if you're not, you know, if you bought it last year, it might trigger you to think, 
and remember how successful it was or yeah, if you want exactly. to use it again. It's, uh, all, of these, all, of this, all of these little buttons and, and um, adages are just there to give you data. None of them are going to tell you what to buy or, or how many to buy. It's just trying to trigger you to make some better decisions, basically. Um, exactly. Yeah, that's what, that's what they're Exactly. But I, I tell you, what, I cannot live without that add product button. I have not gone into Amazon and added anything new for um, months. A long time. Time. I, that button done. Excellent. And I've done it on mobile too. It works exactly the same on mobile. Um, as yeah, 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 that's a great point. If you're if you're out and about and and on your phone, you can absolutely add add things on the fly as you're as yeah. you're walking back from the. Yeah. Walking back from the front door of the store. It's awesome. So um, that's all our update for today. Um, yeah. I think the two really handy panels have a play with eBay definitely. And um, mm -hmm. because if, if the worst case scenario, you can't sell it on the platform, it doesn't help you, but actually you could be missing a real trick that takes two yes. minutes to, to learn. Absolutely, from absolutely, absolutely. So that's, that's our update for SAS. If yep. you find SAS, um, I think Al's got a trial at the moment, hasn't he? He's 42. He 42 scans um, used over the course of three months. Most people tend to use them up in the course of weeks. Um, and yeah, it'll just give you, it'll give you enough, uh, enough scans to kind of give it a, give it a try. And that is with all three tools again. So you can download the app, you can download the extension or log in and use the desktop. And um, then beyond that, it's $11.95 a month for a thousand scans a month. That's um, huge. That's a, that's, that's a massive number of scans. Most people won't go through that, I don't think. No, most no, it's, that, yeah. yeah, most people in their first few months, by the time they get to the next package, by the way, which is only fifteen ninety five a month, um, yeah, they're there and an unlimited amount of scans. They're using VAs and, and employees and things like that. My, so, yeah, my yeah. whole team, I've got a team of VAs, every single one of them use, use SAS. And um, if, like, I can see, I, oh, I've just dropped down, sorry. I can see what they're up to. I can see who scanned what. Yeah. I, so this is something my VA scanned. Exactly. So it's a really exactly. good way to you can pass it out to all your team. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I'm really grateful. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Uh, take care and we'll see you again soon. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye.